I miss not being able to just pick up the phone and dialing 212-59, calling him and saying, so what's going on and, you know, how do you feel about this, the, the election thing with Gore and Bush and, you know, w w what are you doing and what's happening and, you know, I just miss that kind of communication that we would all miss with a friend. It's not profound. It's academic. I love that ability for us to just communicate as pals. Just the, the, the natural interaction interchange between two people who had something in common to say with each other. I missed a straight answer. I miss a person who talked to me without spin. I miss the absence of somebody who I believe was not a hypocrite or a hustler, but just a man. I miss the love that they had between the two of them because that was a role model for anybody who ever wanted to achieve that. You know, I'm, I'm a guy. I'm a guy. So, um, for any guy who was looking for their other half, who was looking for a woman who you could feel a sense of completion with, these were role models. This was Scott and Zelda, you know? This is one of the great love stories of the 20th century. I miss that. I miss optimism. Turn on the news and you watch what's going on in the Middle East and I remember him singing, all we're saying is give peace a chance. I miss that. I'd like to hear that. I like to hear people singing songs that not only make people dance but inspire them, take them uptown, make them feel happy and optimistic. I miss a guy who um, was non-sensorial. I miss his humor. I miss his silliness. I miss some of the absurdities of the whole experience. I miss his warmth. Because beneath the um, macho rock and roll exterior, there was this very romantic guy, you know, who would bring white gardenias to Yoko's bedroom would put her favorite tunes in a jukebox on New Year's Eve and dance with her while the snowflakes were falling. I miss a man who would want to integrate his woman, his wife, his partner in their experience, not to tell her to wait behind the curtain I miss somebody who he had five years with Sean. Five. And Sean Ono Lennon is um, one of the best guys I know. What would he have been like if he had another five years with his father? I miss that. In a time of antiseptic nothingness, I miss his presence on television. I miss his music. I miss his unabashed, optimistic belief in love, the power of love, and that he was not ashamed to say that all you need is love. I miss somebody who just spoke the truth as he knew it to be. 
and this is warmth in his friendship. But mostly, I think, you know, at the end of the day, when all of you guys leave here, I'd love to be able to call them and tell them how the interview went. And I, and I could hear him on the telephone saying, you know, well, I hope, you know, you, you, that you weren't too heavy and that you weren't too sad and you weren't too maudlin and that you reminded people that uh, who on the earth do you think you are? Well, a superstar, right you are, you know, that we all shine on. That I miss him saying that you can imagine anything you want to imagine, envision the world you want to create. I miss the fact that he was able to take us all uptown. I love that guy. I really love that guy. <laughs>